Alright guys, quick video about picking up the H64 Apache into Hover. I know a lot of people have trouble with this portion and it gets a little bit wobbly. And even if you're one of those people who thinks you don't have trouble, uh, maybe you do and you just don't realize it or you've gotten used to it. And that's fine too, but let's talk about how to get it a little bit clean. So we've spawned into the aircraft. I have not done anything with the controls whatsoever. I have not touched the trimmer or anything like that. We're just going to pick up the aircraft and see what happens. So I'm going to increase the torque. In fact, I'm going to bring up the little... Uh, Control indications there so we can see and release my parking brake. All right, you can see I'm raising the collective up. Aircraft is rolling forward already. I haven't even brought the aircraft off the ground. It's starting to get a little bit of a roll. Okay, as I've been telling people from the beginning, uh, get the aircraft light, start moving your controls around and start countering that stuff. So this time I'm going to bring the collective in. I can tell it's rolling. I'm going to bring the cyclic back just a tiny bit, All right, just a tiny bit. I'm going to arrest that roll. I'm still slowly increasing the collective. Now it's rolling a little bit to the right. All right. I'm going to move the cyclic to the left. All right. Now we've got a little bit too much to the right. Okay. And this is where guys get a little bit messed up because they're handling the stuff one at a time. All right. And they're saying like, okay, I'm worried about this. I'm worried about that. We get a little bit, uh, a little bit confused because we get a little bit behind the aircraft. Okay. We've got to think about all these things at once, but what you really need to be practicing is initially arresting that initial movement whatever you need to do to arrest that initial movement now maybe maybe it's use your joystick and only your joystick maybe it's use the trimmer all right so right now we've got a pretty stable hover you know that little circle it doesn't need to be dead balls in the center of your line of sight cue okay it can it can be moving around just a little bit you don't want it drifting off but we're just gonna hold it right there Kind of center and that's okay that's a good that's a good solid hover if you can get that then you're doing really well but the issue is when we pick the aircraft up so now what i'm going to do is we've already talked about we know we need to bring some cyclic back because it's going to start drifting forward once again i'm going to pull in the collective to prove that point the aircraft is drifting forward i'm going to pull back on the cyclic. what i'm going to do we can look up there at the top left i'm going to pull back the cyclic and we also had a little bit of a right roll right so we need to put a little bit left in to stop that roll i'm going to pull back just a little bit back and left and I'm gonna hit the trimmer All right so now I've trimmed the aircraft out sort of equalize that now I'm gonna bring the collective up slowly and let's see what that gets us I got a little bit of forward motion we got a little bit too much on the left roll okay so now we know that when we pick it up we need to take a little bit of that roll out so I guess what I'm getting at is I'm not gonna sit here and try to Try to maximize my takeoff here because I, I kind of have my own way of doing it and my way may be different than your way. But my point is you can see that there's some different ways that we can be doing this. And one of them is to use that trimmer. And the other is to just be patient, pay attention to what the aircraft is telling us while we get it light on the wheels. Pay attention to that uh, acceleration cue, right? And just react to that acceleration cue. And I've kind of screwed myself up just because I've set the trim to something I'm not used to. And I don't really want to spawn in again, but we can reset the trimmer, which I don't even think I have that mapped. I'll just kind of manually do it. All right. And I just pick it up a little bit. And I'm not really staring at the symbology. I'm just kind of looking outside and I just bring the aircraft up. I wasn't even looking at the symbology. I'm just looking outside. I can see the symbology kind of in my peripheral vision. And I can tell that that was a better pickup because I'm not staring at it. I'm not focused on it. I'm using it as a reference tool. Give me an idea of my periphery. Is telling me what's going on too right so anyway just play around with the trimmer because if you can't pick it up stable then what you're gonna be doing is this number you're gonna be chasing the symbology around and uh and and, and just overreacting to things and next thing you know you're gonna be wobbling all over you're gonna lose you're gonna lose patience you're gonna get frustrated and you're gonna go uh play with the jets which is lame all right thanks for watching we'll see you